All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So you probably know that at the recording of this video, I will say that it is Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro Day, but also Android 12 released today. Uh, and Google has dropped it on us, and it is now available on both of these devices, or pretty much any of the Pixel devices. The UI has been completely redesigned and skinned completely differently. Uh, I shouldn't say skinned, it has been redesigned. Because this is beautiful now, uh, and how it how it moves about. How it, first of all, it's very fast. In this video, this isn't a review of Android 12. This is just an overview of how it's been for me since I installed it. So if I look here, um, this is the new setup here. Now it's not doing a good job of producing these colors. Well, actually, it's, this is pretty accurate, but I'll change the wallpaper to show you what I'm talking about. So uh, on here, you can see the, the drop-down menu and the notification center all redesigned. You now have access to these things. You can turn them off. I just blocked the microphone and I just blocked the camera. And then also when you have something active and open, you'll you'll know that it's open because it, it should let you know. We don't need my location. So now you can see there's a little spot up there, little icon up there, did you see it up there? That green came up right there. Let's you know the video camera is being used. You see a little green dot down there. So you can stop access to things if you want to. So look at this, the camera is now blocked and we're going to unblock it. And then you get the little green icon that is set the cameras open and boom, there we are. So that right there is a huge, huge thing. So if someone's accessing your device and you don't know it, now you know. Now tell me that isn't a great feature. So looking at the camera system here, and I'm just I'm just giving it to you like this. I have not opened this up ever since you know I installed. This is like my first rotation of looking at it. So this is pretty sweet, man. That you know we're able to have all this functionality here. Uh, with the cameras now and just the your overall experience and security on the device, this is much needed. So let me change the wallpaper here so I can show you what I'm talking about what, as far as the themes go. So if you look here, you can see it says basic colors or wallpaper colors. So that just means that I can scan through here and change these icon colors uh, to what I want. So uh, these are all colors that are available in the icons or in, in the wallpaper that are shown in the wallpaper. So your icons will match those colors. So if you see, if I click here, it's kind of a soft tone, a grayish looking color. Uh, but then if I go here to the orange, it kind of updates and goes to like an orange theme. Uh, and that's, that's really nice. So even if you were to change your wallpaper, um, you can see that it's gonna, it's gonna update and kind of give it a different hue. Um, but that's, that's just, one of the things they kind of talked about the like basically that's a lifestyle thing. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and change it back over here. And that's just a cool feature that Google has put out there for these phones. Uh, it is really, really nice. And I will say much appreciated. That's really cool. And I do have pixel uh, uh, Android 12 installed on both of these pixels and I'll jump over to the pixel 5a, but I just wanted to show you that even the 4a is getting Android 12. And you should really take note of this because it is important that you know that these devices are gonna get these updates. So other than the having access to the cameras and, and microphones and you've been able to really control that, uh, I think you really should make this jump. Please make this jump uh, up to um, Android 12. And I came in here because I, I figured some of you guys might know what is that? So I'm just clicking around in here, but this is all of uh, well, this isn't all, I've got way more stuff than this, but right now this is what's showing up uh, on here. And I could probably edit this and add everything, uh, but that is the home controls there. So with this new redesign here, you can remember you can swipe over and see the different things. And you can edit this by adding way more things. Look at all these things you can add. So that's something that you need to take note of. The upgraded design up, up top here is going to be a little different, but it's gonna be much faster and easier to get used to than what we're, we've seen before. The icons also change uh, with the redesign, like when I'm changing the colors and things like that, this, the default apps are now different. Uh, I just think it's really nice. So let's go into settings here. This is what the settings looks like now. Um, not too much of a change, uh, but it's this is just something the way it would, would make it look or whatever. But uh, performance is what I'm really gonna be focusing on later on down the line when I, when I tell you about these later, because obviously the Pixel 6, you're, you should be watching this before the Pixel, this is recorded before the Pixel 6. 
uh, my Pixel 6 content, I guess I'll say. Because the Pixel 6 launched as of today, but this video is being recorded after the fact. So you'll see Pixel 6 stuff uh, coming up soon on the channel. But this is the 4A, and the 4A got the update, and so did uh, the Pixel 5A. Now, these are Google's two of Google's latest devices, and it is just a beautiful thing that these guys are getting updated like this. I just find it so cool that Google is giving the software update to these. They're really nice. So again, you can see the controls here and how you want to have things up here. Now, I actually edited the Pixel 4a already, so now I'm gonna show you how to do that on this device. So you just bring things up, and auto-rotate isn't something that's important to me, so I'm gonna bring it down here. What else I think is important to me up here? Focus mode, data saver, extra dim, blah, 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 screencast. Most of these are really important to me. I'll bring Google Pay down a little bit because that's not as important to me, uh, but it is important. So just kind of bear that in mind. You get to choose what's important to you. So now when I swipe down, you can see all the different things that are added and where they're at, and you can see how they're organized here. That's simply it. Look at that battery life. Oof. I need to fully charge this up. 90% 90, 90 left and four days left. Reality, that's really more like three three days. I'm not, uh, for the way I'm using it, I'm not fully getting four days, but I'm pretty sure I could, depending on how I adjust my usage. So that's something that I will be talking about as well, uh, because there is a lot of things to probably, that I could probably go on tips and tricks all about Android 12, but I leave that to the people whose channels specialize in that. I specialize, I would say, if I'm gonna label myself in any kind of way, I specialize on giving you just a straight up, this is how it's doing for me. This is what you could possibly expect. That's pretty much it. Now, performance on these are, you know, they should be, I'm not gonna say equally matched, but they both do have pretty much the same, RAM. they have the RAM, same RAM and uh, the same storage, but they pretty much uh, should flow right along if I'm going to be opening apps and things like that. Um, the processes are different, uh, but in fact, you shouldn't see too much difference. Uh, and most people don't have two of these to compare side by side, uh, but they both are performing extremely well, folks. I have to admit, these are performing very well. Yeah. So performance on these should be blazing fast and it should be even better for you on Android 12. So if you have not updated to Android 12, I highly recommend you do so. I think you'll really, really enjoy how speedy the devices feel, um, you know, how the performance is gonna, uh, it's gonna be a performance upgrade for you. And I, and I really wanted to, couldn't wait to update that 4A because a lot of people felt like the 4A is okay, ah, it's 350. That device performs extremely well under load. Cameras are great, no heating issues or anything like that. So with that said, I'm actually going to make sure I test these cameras again to see if it's really been any kind of difference uh, in performance or anything like that with these cameras as far as the heating issue goes. So uh, going down here again, I went into the controls uh, for this as well. Let me go over to video. Uh, and I went in here to show you the controls in here. So you do have the 4K60 and you can do 4K auto. You can do auto on both of these. You should be, oh, auto is, okay, so they have auto. I guess when I switched it there, oh, okay, it moved over, yeah. So you can do auto on here for uh, 1080p. I personally leave it on the 60 frames per second, um, and uh, 4K is where I normally record it sometimes when I'm using certain devices, but overall, you know what I'm saying? Everything is good. You still got those great stable. Let me see if they added that. I don't think they did, but let me just check it out before I get out of here. I'm pretty sure they didn't, but hey, it's a long shot. Yeah, no, you still have just the two modes here on this camera, and that's just based on that one camera right there. It's based on the 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 um, the hardware basically for that. So you'll know what's being used by those little dots on the top right corner, and I think that's important. So um, I'm gonna definitely check out the um, heating issues. If there's any on the Pixel 5a, I will be sure to report them to you. Uh, so it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Another exciting day for us, man, and, and it's just getting better and better. Google just keeps bringing it, and I am one happy camper right now. This is your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.
Android 12 is here.